Hey guys, it's Arrogant Bids Gamer here. I thought I would do try something different this time. I thought I would show you how to do refurbish your headlamps. Well, mine are already I already did mine multiple times, but if yours have like a starting to haze, yellow, oxidize, anything like that, that's very dangerous, especially at night. Uh, so the oxidized stuff, the haze, the cloudiness, blocks the light from your bulb, and it won't go through very well. So it's it's very dim. So you want to keep try to keep that clear, kind of like this, on both sides. So I'm gonna show you how to do that before it starts raining. I don't know if we're so, it's supposed to rain today or not. Um, you can uh, open your hood if you like, or you can mask around it, like painting tape, masking tape, trash bag, newspapers, anything you like. But for me, uh, I don't really care. But it might be easier if you uh, open your hood. Sorry, I still have I don't have a tripod or anything. Open your hood, or you just take the whole headlamp out. It depends on your vehicle. Um, if you take the hole out, you might have to readjust your headlamp. So I'm trying to do everything one-handed here. Ah, there we go. There she is. Somewhat clean. All right, let's get started. First, first step. I'm gonna just take some regular glass cleaner. And you want to spray, spray it onto the headlamp. You want to make sure you get all the. Whoops! Just kicked it on. The, you want to make sure you get all the debris, grime, and dirt and dust and all that stuff. Because what you do, you will be uh, pushing it in, scratching it even more, and you do not want that. As you can see, mine wasn't that dirty, but it depends on where you are and if there's a lot of bugs or not. So you want to make, at least do it me about twice, just to make sure. You want to get all in the corners, the edges, everything. Alright. Alright. Mine were pretty clean, so it doesn't look that bad. Alright, next step. You will want to clean that about maybe twice on each side. So you take some terry cloth, paper towel. I usually use paper towel, but... You take it. Sorry, I'm trying to do everything one-handed here. Take your paper towel, cloth whatever you are you are using I've been using this it works really well you can use it on your windshield too to get all that rain -X crap treatment repellent crap on there I hate that stuff stupid but anyways you would just put um let's see here you will put just like a little bit on there. You don't want a whole lot. Oh, I almost dropped my phone. Let's see if I can set this down somewhere. Sorry guys. I wish I had like a tripod. <laughs> it's not really anywhere to put it. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. I can't put it on my cousin's car. Alright, screw it. I'll just do it one day. But anyways, you want to kind of like fold it up, crunch it up. Whatever is easier for you, but I use a fold it. But, um, since I'm doing one handed, I'll just crunch it up. Alright. 
you want to take whatever you're using you can use I heard you can use um, toothpaste um, like bud spray maybe and uh, there's a bunch of kits out there you can use but this was a bit cheaper so I've been using this Rainix is uh, really good I prefer Rainix you put you don't want to put a whole lot this stuff is pretty thick uh, I might have put too much on there yeah that's a little too much but I'm trying not to get on my phone here you want to take it and just kind of you want to smear it around first kind of like this I don't know who's honk going crazy with their horn in the background but anyways you want to put a lot of, about medium pressure you want to go in circular motion someone's going crazy with their horn you want to do this for maybe about maybe a minute maybe a minute and a half or so on each side it's almost like you're buffing and waxing your car Practically the same thing, pretty much, but I want to get all over on the edges, crevices, cracks, all that stuff. It's, uh, I usually do it about like that. It's depending on like how hazy and cloudy yours are. You might have to do a couple of coats. The more coats you put it on, the better it gets. Just make sure. All right. I usually use glass cleaner. Oh, that's not working well. But take your glass cleaner. You want to do like a really light coat of glass cleaner. Kind of like that. And you take a semi-clean or brand new uh, towel and you kind of like just like buff it off. Spray a little more here. You might have to use a more than one cloth or towel to clean it off. Well, make sure you get all of it off the best you can. If you want, you can do one more time over. Make sure you get all of it off. And there you have it. I only did one coat, but like I said, it's depending on how bad your headlamps are. These are the original headlamps, so they're, of course they're going to be like a little foggy on the inside. But I recommend you use gloves too because it's hard to get off your hands once it dries. But um, thank you. Please subscribe, comment, and all that stuff. Thanks. Have a nice day. Bye.